All right, well, today I'm going to start uh, painting in my mountains. I had a couple of viewers comment on one of my videos saying that uh, I kept saying that my distant mountains were going to be darker and the ones in the foreground are going to be lighter. And everybody was saying that should be the other way around. And to an extent, that is true, but I keep coming across pictures like this of scenery that I'm thinking of doing. And I guess I think I poorly articulated what I was trying to say, what I had in my mind's eye. Yeah, this foreground scenery is lighter than the background scenery. <sighs> well, I don't know, how do I say that? Not lighter, but I mean, because when I look at this white haze here, it looks like, first of all, the color's solid. It looks like there's a darker color obscured by a lighter haze, and maybe that's what I was trying to get at uh, when I was saying that the distant mountains are going to be, quote, more darker. And that, uh, that's what I was trying to say, is that I'm going to start off painting the mountains a darker color and then overlaying it with this white mist so that it appear lighter than the foreground but it kind of gives this kind of effect of that yeah it's lighter but at the same time the color underneath it just seems to appear darker to me it, it, it just kind of looks like that way to me so I think I'm just gonna go with that way so um, the initial colors that I paint the distant mountains I'll start off with darker colors but I'll miss them over and then as I bring the mountains up closer, they'll end up getting lighter with less mist over them just because, you know, it's not being obscured. That's what it just kind of looks like to me. So when I, let's see, let me mix my colors together here. All right, I got my paints mixed together. I'm going to go ahead and go outside and give this a shot of the um, Artist Spray Adhesive and tack it up against the wall, put some paper around it, and uh, start doing some airbrushing. So, there it didn't take long. Light coat on there so it's a little tacky. I'll let this dry a little bit before sticking that onto the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and align my stencil with the markings I have in back here. This is, this is stencil 1D. I mark the edges down here where the bottom of the mountain, where the bottom of the mountain meets, meets and just do that. Line it up there, line it up here, and then just push this against the wall. There, okay. Make sure this is tacked firmly. my Saturday ads and just quite quickly tape them up there to avoid any problems with overspray. Here. It's kind of a mixture of dark brown and black. So, go ahead and give this a shot. First, 
distant mountain. Let's so introduce some white. Missed over it. I'll kind of also bring the mist in the background too. With a hazy horizon here a little bit. Darker, lighter mountain. Maybe I could even lighten it up a little bit more. Make it even look more distant. Like that. But that's kind of where I'm going with this. transition a little bit so I'm going to actually give this a little shot of green a little bit more lighter a little touch of green to this so I'm still fairly distant all right I'm going to give this a shot of uh, my adhesive I'll be back Changes out every two or three cleans, but uh, just get my airbrush and dipping it in. Last year, I threw it in the fluffy amount. 